All right, this is Dell Inspiron Xenio HD. So it's a tiny little, basically a media computer, and they're pretty, uh, they're pretty cool and slick and in a compact form, but that can be problematic for some when they want to upgrade stuff. So first thing, the RAM. If you need to upgrade RAM or replace RAM, that's all on the bottom here, and there's just these two screws that once you unscrew those, the bottom will sort of pop off and give you access to uh, the SODIMM. So, you know, small form factors uses the uh, laptop RAM form factor. So, um, but you can see the heat piping and the little fan and whatnot. Um, there's little arrows here when you're putting this back on and little metal tabs. So you want to make sure that those are slid in properly and then just screw these back. These screws are nice on the lid because they have the little rubber grommet keeper or whatever so that doesn't, they don't fall off um, when you're doing that. As far as the hard drive, I had to replace the hard drive and I forgot to put one screw in so in any case we can open it up and take a look. So there's a little button here. So it's just a spring-loaded thing, kind of clever. That pops off like such. And if you got the Wi-Fi, then the antennas are going to be clipped here. You can see uh, how the uh, antenna wires route through these tiny little cutouts on the corners. So basically there's three screws here to undo. One in the back. And then to, you actually don't need to necessarily take uh, this, these actually don't hold it down. So if you're careful, you could just leave those on and then, you know, the Wi-Fi card's on the bottom here and put it on that way. But I'll just, uh, have easier once you have her in there to, uh, screw the antenna on at the top and not worry about since the Wi-Fi clips are so small. Um, so now that's open. Now next thing's optical drive. There's one screw on the back to take off and unclip it like such. This thing just slides forward and comes out like that. Uh, the next thing is uh, the on switch, it's mounted here. There's one screw that holds it on. So we will take that off like such. Um, each side of the hard drive caddy has a, basically a screw. There's one down in here and then sort of underneath the power switch there's another one. So just carefully take that out. Uh, this one was the one that I already had out so I'll skip that otherwise on this side there's one and that um, grab that screw uh, there's going to be the little power switch there that plugs in for the data and power for the hard drive like such so it's fairly uh, compact design, but pretty clever. Um, so if you need to actually service your hard drive, um, it screws in as well on the two uh, sides here and then here as well. And so you know any SATA drive will fit in there. And obviously that's uh, about all you would do if you're opening this up, unless you're replacing some other components so just get that clip back on like such and at this point assembly is just reverse of that so this time I won't forget the two screws so the trick I do with the caddy and they're the only silver screws you have so basically put these because it's hard to reach in there 
you know, go ahead and load those. Make sure you're not putting your switch underneath there because that would be a hassle. And you know, as you lower it down, kind of just guide that. Uh, we also want to, before we do that, get the hard drive actually clipped in again. So easiest to do that when it's sitting out here just a little bit. Luckily the cables have enough slack that they let you do that and just kind of guide this down in there and it falls in place once you don't have the uh, all the wires blocking the way so get that one in and with any luck this one doesn't fall off too far and that gets screwed in so we're good to go with that uh, we want to get the for the optical drives in we want to make sure this is attached so as far as I can tell all the black screws are the same size so you don't have to worry about mixing those up like that optical drive slides in it's got the one screw in the back And then I always check, make sure the Wi-Fi is nice and tight there on those clips. Power and data for that. And this can be routed, these two wires, through those same things. Uh, there's some clips in the front here that got to make sure that everything aligns up good to get the top piece in. So there's two uh, pieces, these metal tabs got to go in the slots there and then these hooks have to go in this plastic so it takes a little uh, little bit of detail to make sure that they're all lined up so the one screw in the back and then each of these take their one screw it has a little, there's a little metal tab so you kind of tell which is which. It's fairly simple. And this one. And this just basically presses in, presses back in, and you're good to go.